Hi everyone, this is Jerry. I'm going to give you an update on what was done yesterday, which was day 14. I actually posted a, a still photograph of what I did yesterday, but I'm going to talk to you this morning about day 15 and what I hope to get done. So I'm going to show you the painting now if I flip my phone around. So this is where we are. Yesterday I filled in um, the uh, mountain area, this tree area, and this stuff, this stuff here, and got down. Well, I had this in here, so I did this yesterday, and you can see um, how you can see mu you can see much better how uh, that helped tie the beginning of what's on the right hand side together. So. Um, I worked some on this area. I still have to do this guy in this area here. But I'm gonna spend the day uh, getting this portion here tied to this. I wanna figure out what goes in here and then um, see if that actually ties into this up here. I like these particular colors right here but I don't like the abrupt end of this color to this. So I'm not real sure how I will join that, but I'll come up with something. It might even be like a, a yellow, um, where my finger at? There's my finger. A yellow thing like this. And you can see how that would divide the two or make a bridge to the two actually. So this is the coloring of the top of the mountain. Now my iPhone, my UI 11, doesn't really give true color. Uh, I don't see this being that yellow or that, that green. So that's just what it is. But this is the transition of it. So the idea is um, the light is, is landing on the back mountain and coming from behind these trees, so I have to figure out what the foreground trees do in relationship to the light. Like these here, silhouette against it, that's an idea. Um, when I got um, that tree, I took this tree out, and then I realized it focused too much on these fellas here. I don't want you just to look at those. I do want you to hit the painting, um, and follow the line and crescendo here. But I added him back, but I'm thinking it's too dark. Um, if you'll look, the, um, th this tree and this tree, if they were dark, you'd create a triangle between here. But with this one being dark, you just kind of do 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 do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do this tree more in these colorings and um, take less attention off it. The intensity and the depth of value on that tree tends to bring your attention to it too much. Then I still have to figure out what to do with this corner. But on day, the beginning of day 15, uh, this is where I am. And what I have, what I've decided is and learned, is um, this is one darn big picture. I don't know. I did one once. It was twenty foot long, four foot by twenty foot long, for a barbecue restaurant in Brownville when I was twenty. And in fact, uh, we did our wedding uh, rehearsal dinner at that barbecue place. I can't re remember the name of it, uh, but it was Hugh Harris opened it. And his son now has that big painting. I did have to cut four feet off of it to get it into his house on, onto his wall. But it was a portion that wasn't really important. So stay tuned for what happens today. And uh, have a great day. Blessings. Bye.